Court, I'm going to point something out. We do not plan this, but we're both wearing red today. <laughs> it seems like more often than not, we are matching. And I don't, you often point it out, but um, we don't plan this. It's it very interesting how we're kind of in sync, but yeah. today's a red day. It is a red day, yeah. The blues, the purples, it seems like we do this very often. <laughs> and yeah, this isn't planned at all. And Kelly, don't worry, I'm not trying to steal your identity. By the I was same, worried about that. That's know, right. Do not steal my on-air identity look, with the color. Guys, we're both wearing red, but I am not Kelly. I'm Court. <laughs> uh, checking in what we're seeing out there for today. Here's <laughs> what's going on in our impacts that we're going to be tracking for you this morning. As you get a look, it's going to be warm and dry for today, and we've got very similar conditions on tap for tomorrow. But heading into the weekend, it's a change of pace. And we also have some increasing air quality impacts tonight and through tomorrow. Today it looks good. Tomorrow we're taking a dip, especially for the northern end of the valley. And then cooling down with shower chances, even a slight threat of thunderstorms this weekend. A live look outside of the Sundial Bridge in Redding this morning. Yesterday, this live look was very hazy. Not so much this morning. And over the next couple of days, it's going to be really hit or miss when we're seeing that wildfire smoke from the Boise fire in northern Trinity County sinking down into the valley. And it does look like that's going to be much more problematic late tonight into tomorrow than what we're seeing through today. High temperatures or excuse me, temperatures at the moment in the 60s to low 70s in the valley, 60s in the foothills, 40s to low 50s in our mountain zones right now. Winds northeast around six miles an hour. They'll stay light this morning. We do see a little bit of a shift. So it's south winds to 10 miles an hour in the mid valley this afternoon, but northwest winds for the northern zones of the valley. And those winds get briefly gusty tonight, 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts out of the northwest into Hama County and Shasta County. Modest winds tomorrow morning, south winds 15 miles an hour for the afternoon. And then those winds stronger out of the northwest briefly Friday night into Hama County before we see winds picking up gusts 30 miles an hour out of the south on Saturday with a cool down and that chance for active weather. Humidity not recovering all that well overnight, 38% or higher for the valley, and it's going to dip into that 15 to 25% range today. So that's a concern for fire danger. The lower those numbers are, the drier our air is, the easier it is for fires to start and spread. Clear skies now after we had some activity just along the California-Oregon border yesterday from this cooler system to our north. High pressure to our southeast, building back in today, drying us out, warming us up, leaving us with sunshine. And then what's going to happen? We have a cool system off the coast right now, keeping our high temperatures in check. But we're going to have another one that's more substantial that's going to be parked off the coast of Northern California and Oregon on Saturday. And that's what's going to usher in a huge change of pace for the weekend. So it's sunshine at 8 a.m. More sunshine at lunch hour today. For your commute home, 5 p.m., still sunny skies. A few clouds just south of the Oregon border. Sunny skies for your Friday as well. I'm going to go ahead and zoom straight through this. We'll see a couple of thin clouds for the afternoon hours, but that's it. And then Saturday, here is when we see that change. And get a look at this. Shower chances from Shasta County to the north. We're seeing some limited shower chances in the Sierra, but it looks like Trinity, Shasta, and Siskiyou County seeing the best chance. Sunshine returning Sunday, warming back up into next week. High temperatures today, mid 80s for the northern mountains. will end up in the 70s to lower 80s in the Sierra and southern Cascades. Mid 70s to upper 80s in the foothills. And in the valley today, temperatures mid 90s for the afternoon. Not much variety. 94 degrees for Redding and Red Bluff. 93 degrees for Chico. 94 in Oroville. Your Storm Tracker 7-day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Low to mid 90s today and tomorrow in the valley with sunshine dipping into the upper 80s. Mostly sunny Saturday in Chico. Upper 80s Sunday with lows in the low 60s. And then back to the lower 90s next week. Redding, 94 today and tomorrow, dipping to 86 on Saturday with that threat of showers and thunderstorms. That clears out by Sunday, back in the upper 80s, and then low to mid 90s as we head into next week. So, Kelly, we've got some big changes. It looks like Saturday specifically, we've got that chance for a bit of active weather, but a great weekend for getting outside with those temperatures, especially if it's that last weekend before your kids start school next week. Oh, time is just flying. Okay, thanks, Court.